Hogan. Steve to my cabin, and then get on the way. Aye, sir. I'd certainly like to know who slugged me. Slugged you? Whoever slugged you must have thrown you overboard. Where were you when you got slugged? I was on the deck. I heard a woman scream as I was passing. I can't find Jenny. She isn't in her cabin or the salon. Was she with you? No, but I heard a woman scream. It must have been Jenny. Huh? Remember, I was right here. Jimmy, Napoleon, get some water. Easy now, honey. What happened? There was a masked man. He he choked me. Now, now. Mr. Heinrich's body was lying right there. No, honey. Don't imagine things. I'm not, Pop. He was lying right there, and, and I came in to see, and, and then suddenly the door slammed shut, and, and the masked man grabbed me and, and started to choke me, and that's, that's all I remember. Captain, you'd better take her to her cabin. Yes, come here. I'll have a look around. Napoleon, see if you can find Heinrich. Yes. cabin, I saw Langtree through the broken door. He was in there searching around. Uh-oh. Do you think he knows why we're interested in Duval's landing? If he has Heinrich's map, it's essential, though. Want me to find out? That's a good idea, but be careful. Oh, I think I can handle Langtree. We can't learn anything about Heinrich from these. Nothing here but real estate forms. All right, Jenny. Lock him in the safe. We'll hold him for the authorities. Captain, we have searched this boat high and low. We can't find no trace of that Miss Heinrich. And that settles it. Heinrich was stabbed, just as Jenny said. Then probably thrown overboard, murdered. Murdered? Did you tell me? Hush, hush. Keep it to yourself. We don't want to alarm the passengers. Here, take the wheel. We're laying over in Ghost Bayou tonight, Steve. Do you think we ought to stand watch, just in case? Not a bad idea. I'm a real cat. 
double-barreled cowboy. I can handle pistols like you do a spoon. But at times like this, I'm weak, and I lose my tough technique. I get mellow in the yellow of the moon. I can rope a steer and ride a buck and bronco. I can sing a cowboy song pert near in tune. But my balance I sure lose when we sit around the twos. I get mellow in the yellow of the moon. Get along, little doggies. I'm at home back on the range till the moon and you come out and then I undergo a change. All day long I'm just a big bad boy from Brimstone. But at night I live on poetry in June. Anyhow, I'm satisfied, long as you are by my side, I get mellow in the yellow of the moon. Though I'm as tough and hard as nails, I'm as soft around the frails, I get mellow in the yellow of the moon. Tied off, Napoleon? Yes, sir. She's all secure, Captain. Take the first watch, Steve. Meanwhile, I'll get a little shut eye. You better get a little sleep too, Napoleon. Yes, sir. Don't let the ghosts scare you, Napoleon. <laughs> them ghosts can't scare me. I got the advantage of them. I can see them in the dark, but they can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. It's funny what love can do, gee. We're quite a pair, floating along, singing a song, dancing on air. Yes, it is. You're the man that fell overboard. That's right. I'm glad they rescued you. So am I. Well, you're the girl who sings. That's right, Celeste. My name's Langtree, Steve Langtree. That's a romantic name. I'll remember it. Is this your first trip to the Byers? No, I was born at Duval's Landing. Scream, Mademoiselle. I only want for to come on the boat. But why sneak on board like that? Well, I think everybody is asleep. If I don't sneak, he wake up. So I tie the boat alongside and I come aboard. So all you want is a free ride to Duval's Landing? Oui, and I have one raccoon skin here to pay for my ticket. It's a deal, Batiste. You can sleep on one of the cotton bales. Merci, Mademoiselle. 
I'm sorry this had to happen to interrupt your little party, Steve. You can forget the sarcasm, Jenny. And I think your friend Batiste came aboard for something else besides a free ride. Oh, Batiste is a harmless old trapper. Yeah, maybe. I must tell Pop that Batiste came aboard. And you can also tell him I'm patrolling these decks with my eyes wide open. For whom? The new singer? Yeah. These funny little drawing, uh, what that mean, Monsieur Duval? Don't call me Duval. I told you I'm now known as Mr. Clayton. Oh, I'm sorry, Monsieur, I forget. And don't bother your brain about what these drawings mean. We. Oui. There are people on this boat who would sell my land to strangers. Land that belongs to me. And not to my brother who drove me out of the landing. And those same strangers will drive you and your people out of the bayou. <laughs> but that must not be, Monsieur. If necessary, we'll kill them all to prevent it. How you do that? Below the deck, in the forward hold. If all those drums of gasoline were set on fire, they'd blow this boat to atoms. You go now, and wait for me in your rowboat. When I jump overboard, you pick me up. We oui, monsieur, I go. Batiste to blow up the boat. He's going to fire the gasoline in the forward hold. Could you see who it was? No. 